First make a folder with all of your pictures um, from your time lapse in one folder. Then go to Premiere, make a new project, title it whatever, time lapse. Put it in the folder with your time lapse if you want to. That's what usually what I do. Put the folder with my footage. Put the sequence with my footage. Hit OK. Let me just make it into the editing workspace. All right, now take all of your photos and drag them into your um, project. Now down here in the project um, window is where you want. So right here, I made the project window bigger, but you see I have all these. Um, first thing you want to do is select all of them and go down to right here, these two little arrows and hit sort icons and do it by label so that way they're in order in sequential order. If your camera did this um, however you want to sort them but this should be in the sequential order. Sorry, first what you want to do is make a new sequence. Hit this little button here hit new sequence and use any preset you want. For my settings I'm using um, 3840 by 2160 which is 4K at 23 frames per second. The lower your frame rate the longer your time lapse um, but obviously if you do it like a f 10 frame per second, it's going to be really choppy. So I'd recommend 24 frames per second. Um, and I hit OK. And then in your project window, you can select all of them. Make sure your sequence isn't selected. And right here, there's this little thing and it says automate to sequence. Now here you want it in selection, in uh, selection order. Uh, play sequentially at 24 frames per second and frame per still. Make sure this is at one frame per still, otherwise it's not. It's going to be all out of whack. So make sure that. Make sure all your transitions are off. And hit OK. And right here, it's done. So if we zoom in here, here are all of our photos. And if you play it back, you'll see it's a time lapse. Uh, it does not play back smoothly for me, but there it is. And that's how you make a time lapse in Premiere.